Now let us see the mechanism of respiration in humans. Mechanism of respiration in humans. So the process of respiration, it involved two major steps, that is inhalation and exhalation. So we are talking about the physical external respiration, that is breathing. It has two phases, inhalation, exhalation, taking the air in, leaving the air out. So what are the respiratory organs? The respiratory organs that are found in humans are lungs. Lungs. Now let us see how the air enters the lungs and exit the lungs. Lungs, they are made up of tiny units called as alveoli. So the air has to enter the lungs. For that, the lungs need to be expanded and contracted. But the lungs cannot make these expansions and contractions on their own. There are other parts and muscles helping the lungs to expand and collapse or to contract to move in and move out the air. So here, uh, we can see that already we have seen the passage of air, nostrils, nasal cavity, pharynx, larynx and trachea. This is the trachea. Trachea is divided to bronchi, bronchi to bronchioles. So it comes to bronchioles. So now you can see the trachea is divided into two bronchioles, left and right. And here we can see that left and right lungs. This is right lung and this is left lung. We can also notice one more thing, the left lung is smaller compared to right lung because the left lung is smaller to accommodate some space to heart. So heart is located slightly towards left side. So the left lung is a bit smaller to accommodate heart in that place. So these are the two lungs. Now the question is how the air moves in and out of the lungs. Now let us look at the position of the lungs. Where are the lungs located? See, this is the torso of our body, trunk of our body. The trunk of the human body is divided into chest cavity and abdominal cavity. If you take this is the chest cavity, this is the abdominal cavity. This is abdomen and uh, this region is called as, this is called as chest cavity. So in the chest cavity or the thoracic cavity or in the chest cavity, the lungs are present. So the chest cavity at the front side, it has got chest wall. So what is the chest wall made up of? It is made up of muscles and ribs. The chest wall, it consists of muscles and some bones called as ribs. One can find the ribs by touching in the chest cavity. If you touch, you can find them. So one can find ribs in the chest wall. So. The chest wall is made up of muscles and ribs and below the chest cavity separating the abdominal cavity there is a muscular wall. So this muscular wall is called diaphragm. Diaphragm. So by the movements of this diaphragm and the ribs in the chest wall makes the lungs operate expand and collapse. So here, if you see that the chest wall, the ribs in the chest wall, they are attached to the spine. We can observe the ribs here. The ribs in the skeleton, they are attached to the spine at an angle. So when the lungs are in relaxed phase, then the ribs are slant downwards. During the process of inhalation, when the air is taken in, the ribs are slightly raised up. So by that, the room, the space in the chest cavity increases. So as the space increases, air pressure decreases. So by that, the outside air rushes into the lungs. At the same time, simultaneously, as the ribs are moving forward, simultaneously here the diaphragm, during the process of inhalation, the diaphragm is pulled down. Actually, now this is looking like a dome shape. So we can find the shape like this. While exhalation, when there is no air in the lungs, it is in the dome shape. But during inhalation, due to the intake, while the intake of the air, this diaphragm is pulled down and the dome shape is made flat. 
So the room increases, the chest cavity increases. Then the air pressure decreases. Outside air pressure is more. So air rushes into the lungs. So the ribs as well as the diaphragm both are helping in passes of the air, inhalation of the air. So inhalation is the phase in which the air enters the lungs. So why the air enters the lungs? Because for the space available for the lungs is increased more because of the diaphragm as well as the ribs. As the room or the chest cavity increases, expands, then the pressure inside the lungs decreases and lungs get expanded, that air enters into the lungs. Now for exhalation, release of air outside, that also happens with the reverse of the same. Here the ribs move down, decreases the uh, room inside the chest, that is the chest cavity is decreased and the diaphragm, again it goes up and it makes the dome shape. So from flat to dome shape again, then the chest cavity decreases, then the pressure inside the chest cavity increases due to the high pressure the air is exhaled out. So in this way, the inhalation that is the intake of air and exhalation that is the release of air takes place in humans. So the mechanism is operated by one, the diaphragm, the muscular wall like structure separating the chest cavity and abdominal cavity that is the diaphragm and second one is the ribs that are present in the chest wall. These two play an important role in the mechanism of breathing. So here we understood how the breathing, inhalation or inspiration, exhalation or expiration takes place. But is there any specific rate of inhalation or exhalation that is per one minute of time or per certain period of time? Sometimes it is observed some 16 times, 20 times, sometimes much slower. So the rate of breathing, it is different in different age groups. Like if you see in small children, it is more. If you see in adults, it is less. And when you are resting or relaxing, the breathing rate is slow. But when you are doing vigorous exercise, jogging, running, lifting anything, climbing stairs, then you will observe that your breathing rate increases. So what is the factor that is responsible or uh, that which affects the breathing rate? The breath rate is affected by the demand of oxygen. When your body, when your cells require more amount of oxygen, then you need to breathe more. Say for example, we are running. Our cells consume all the oxygen to produce the, to produce the energy. So more energy is to be produced, more oxygen is required. More oxygen is required, more number of inhalations and exhalations to, should take place. So the factor is that demand for oxygen. When there is a huge demand of oxygen in the body for the production of energy, in such cases the rate of respiration, the rate of breathing also increases.